Hello everyone, John Frost to atopspintennis.com. Um, in this video, I'm going to do an analysis on Martina Kingis. Um, growing up, I was kind of fascinated by um, her play. Um, it's interesting to me how many shots Martina hit from an open or semi-open stance. And I'll get into that in the video as well. You'll see that. I hope you enjoy the video. Please don't forget to make sure you hit the subscribe button below and hit that like button as well. By doing that, it helps you know get our, um, our videos out there and gives them more exposure. And don't forget to hit that notification button as well so you get the most current content. Thank you so much for visiting and enjoy this analysis. All right, let's go ahead and look at the analysis now. Um, I have her side by side in the um, in these two videos. The video on the left, she's actually going to be hitting a backhand return. The video on the right, she's going to be hitting her forehand return. Uh, so let's just show you some of the commonalities she has on both sides. Be interested to hear from you. What are some of the things that you're doing on the return of serve um, that are similar to her? And is there anything that you could you, you learn from this video that you'd like to incorporate into your game or is there something you'd like to see in future videos um, that you'd like me to analyze um, I get some of my best ideas from you guys so if you can put those in the comment section below I'd really appreciate it also make sure you hit the notification hit that notification bell uh, please subscribe to the channel by subscribing that helps the channel grow and then also give it a give it a thumbs up uh, appreciate you supporting the channel that way as well. All right, so let's go ahead and look. So she's in the ready position now. One thing that I want you to keep in mind is a lot of the two-handers do this. She's in a forehand position uh, with that bottom hand on both on both sides here. Um, do you do that? Are you a two-hander and do you do you keep your forehand grip? Or are you more in a uh, neutral like continental grip in this position? Be interested to hear your thoughts on that. And then the left hand is going to be closer to her backhand grip, which looks like it could be like a, uh, like a semi-western or eastern grip. But we'll watch here on the transition as she goes forward. I mean, she's in a good athletic stance here, right? She's ready to receive the ball. Um, but let's go ahead and watch the transition here on the grip on the backhand side. So forehand grip to start, right? Her weight gets full, starts going forward. She's on the prowl here. She wants to attack. Um, she's not afraid to move forward and go get the ball here. But watch the racket head turn here on the backhand side video right here. Watch it again. Watch it turn. See that? And she goes palm down with the left hand. And what I mean by that is this left hand here is going to close. And notice how her racket face closes as well. So strong position here. By closing that racket angle like that, she closes it. She's going to ro re um, relax that rotator cuff. And by closing the face as well, incorporate maybe a little bit more spin and the ball's less likely to go out, right? Because she's closing the racket face. Um, so very strong position. Is that something you do if you're a two-hander? you closing the face like that? Um, on the forehand side, notice how, I mean, she's not afraid. She's taking a pretty decent cut at this. Racket head is high. One thing I like about this position, we've talked about this before, is that the hand does not go above the shoulders, right? So as much as it's a, as it's, it's a loop here, the hand doesn't go above the shoulder, and the same thing can be said on the backhand. So compact, yet she generates that power with the loop. Um, all right, let's go ahead. So she transitioned, racket goes back, there's the loop. Let's look at her loading phase. Just a strong position here. Um, you want to talk about generating power from the ground up. Look at the loading in the legs. Um, if you haven't had a chance to watch the match between her and Steffi Groff, the 1999 French Open final, um, it's a fascinating match. There's controversy in it. A phenomenal match to watch. I actually have a link to the highlights below. Um, but I was surprised how much um, open and semi-open stance Martina Hingis hits off of both sides. So in this video here, she's in a semi-open stance. 
this video here, she's actually in a clo in a uh, open stance. So, um, how many of you? I mean, are your instructors? Are you an instructor telling everybody to hit square stance, close stance? At these levels, with the ball coming in so fast, and you know them pulling you off the court, semi-open and open stance are very, very common. So it's kind of nice to see that the proof here in this video um, that she's doing that. Um, all right, so racket's been taken back. Uh, she's kind of in the slot here on the backhand, right? Um, the other thing I wanted to show you too in her in her um, loading phase. Look at how textbook it is. The racket head is high. She's loading in the legs. And look at the offhand here in this position. So she always has great spacing, great balance in this position. Something that we can all learn from. So phenomenal position there. Let's go ahead and look at the contact point, right? So she, she loads. Power's generated from the ground up. Good unit turn, good shoulder turn. Now she's going into the ball. And let's look at that contact point. Notice how it's out in front. Very common that we hit too late. Uh, Martina Hingis finds that ball out in front. And she is behind the ball here. So she has, she has tremendous leverage on this shot. Notice how her hips and shoulders open up to the target. Um, just a strong position. And then also look at how she catches air on the forehand. So there's that angular momentum, right? The kinetic chain generating power from the ground up. And she's doing the same thing on the backhand, coming off the ground here. So just a good, strong, athletic position comes out of it nicely, still has good balance. Um, and then, you know, it's gonna follow through on the shot here. Look at on the backhand, how the extension here. See how she extends out. Always under control here and finishes. Forehand, you're not going to see it here, but on her forehand, she actually, it almost is like a windshield wiper. She comes around and she finishes across her left hip here. So just a full finish, nice and relaxed. Takes a just a strong cut at the ball. Um, just fun to watch. Let's watch it in real time. Let's watch it at half speed. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, please leave some comments down below. I'd love to be interested to hear your thoughts on this and what, what are you looking for in the future? There's some video ideas you'd like to see. Um, we're adding new content all the time. We're really excited about uh, where Topspin Tennis is headed. Hopefully this helps your game. Um, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.